Hi, Hiram here. A couple of days ago I did a little show and tell on this Firebox Gen 2 Folding Firebox Nano. This is the leather case that you can get for it. It's all in here. The In the review I showed that uh, it was made to use the Trangia burner. It comes with these uh, little nano sticks that let you fit the Trangia right in there. But I was thinking it would be really nice if we could get an alcohol burner that would fit in the pouch along with the Gen 2 Nano and all of the other paraphernalia that goes with it. So thinking about it, I remembered about how back in November of 2010, I did a series of videos on T's Stowe's uh, Zabaton Stove. I'll leave links down below to so that you can see where I did them. I had to edit them again for the military police. But I'll put links down below. And I thought, that might just work. So here we have that you just pull out the pouch, the carbon felt. And here's what I think might be a burner that'll work in this stove. This is T Stove Zabaton Burner. He called it a stove, but it's just I think it's just a burner. On my one video, I, I think it was the first one, the boil test one and two, I showed how to make these. Basically, it's just a piece of carbon felt. In this case, I made it much thicker than the first ones. This is three thickness of carbon felt, about two, this is what, two and a half inches by two and a half inches. Folded it three times, covered it in aluminum foil, pinched it down so it's all sealed in, and then I cut a one inch by one inch opening on the top. Again, like I said, this makes it a, a wee bit bigger than the first one that I made. It's about a half inch thick. So with this, when you get your Gen 2 Nano, at first I was thinking that I might have to use the platform. Remember these are the Nano sticks? This is where Folding Firebox, Steve over at Fire, Folding Firebox modified this by putting these in. Now you can just put a Trangia burner in there. Or if you're going to use solid fuel, you can use this, the plate that you can get for solid fuel. But my thoughts were this Zabaton burner is so light, it'll just fit right there like that. Oh, I forgot to mention Zabaton. A, uh, if you look it up, a Zabat I think they called it a Zabaton stove or burner because it resembles a Zabaton, that's a Japanese cushion for sitting on the floors. I think that's why he named that. Some other people when I did the videos called them a ravioli, but I have to go by the one where I originally saw it. And I'll leave a link for that original video down below too. So what I'm going to do now is try a boil test with this. I'll put some alcohol in here, measure how much I put in, get some water prepped, and I'll be back for a boil test. Okay, so my water's right on the verge of 60 degrees for two cups of water. I filled the Zabatu, Zabatin, boy I have a hard time with that, Zabatin burner with uh, methanol. Now the thing is, as you make these, they're going to vary in size. So all I can say is fill it, but don't overfill it. If you fill it too high, when the alcohol heats up, it's going to flow out of the burner. This one right now has 24 grams of methanol in it, which is about the equivalent of 0.64 fluid ounces. And it's a little high. The flow, it might be a little bit over full, but it should, shouldn't give us any problems. So let me light this. You can see that nice flame. Two cups of water, setting at 60 degrees. And let's see how long this takes to get to a boil. We're now two minutes into the test. The temperature is up to 97 degrees. As you can see, it's a nice flame. This Zabaton burner is a, a little bit bigger than the ones I did before. On those tests, they never did get two cups of water to a boil. Got one cup, 
Got two cups close, but not to a boil. But this, this burner is much bigger, much bigger flame as you can see it here. Look down in there. Nice flame. So I have good hopes that this will get two cups of water to a boil. There we have 210, 211, 212 in 8 minutes, 3 seconds. Cool. Got it to a boil. Okay, now let's just see how long it takes that uh, 24 grams or 0.64 fluid ounces to run out. Well, look at that. We're going on more than 16 minutes and we still have a little bit of flame there. That is way cool. So I'm going to call this at, let's see if we can make it to 16 and a half. I don't know if you can see it on this camera. The fibers are starting to get a little glowy, it means it's running out of methanol. Okay, I'm going to call it at 1633. Cool. So that was two cups of water, came to a boil in eight minutes, three seconds. And then the burner with the uh, 24 grams or 0.64 fluid ounces of methanol burned for 16 minutes, 33 seconds. That means conceivably I could have put in maybe just a little more than half of what I did, say about 12 grams. That comes out to about a third of a fluid ounce. I mean, this would be nice. You get into a campsite, it's dark, wet, you don't have to go looking for wood. You just pull out your trusty firebox kit, the Gen 2 folding nano, and put some alcohol in your Zabaton's burner, and you're off and running. You could make a cup of coffee, you could make soup. Nice. Okay, so like I said, I'll leave links down below where you can see the other videos that I did on this burner and I'll leave the link to the original uh, tease stove you should check that out if you leave them a message tell them that you saw it on my site it'll he'll wonder who I am but I'm excited this is cool so I thank you for watching I look forward to your input questions remarks helpful suggestions and as always watch for my buddy Max bye now